command any spirit. I'm going to leave him right now. He is even so what I command you. You know, one thing I've noticed over the last five to ten years is that God's miracles seem to be breaking out in some of the strangest places I've ever seen. It's as if God will just meet people anywhere and everywhere they are. He has no respect to this. He's just moving wherever he feels like. Even in my own life, I remember going to a fishing store one time and praying for the person behind the counter who had broken ribs from getting hit by a car. And within two prayers, just within 30 seconds, this man was completely healed and he was a non-believer and had no idea what to do with it. So why is it now so normal, in a sense, to see God move in all of these unexpected places? Well, as it turns out, there are verses in the Bible that talk exactly about this. They show that amazing miracles are not just supposed to happen among believers in church, but everywhere and everywhere believers go. In Mark 16, it talks about wild and crazy, mind-blowing signs that are meant to follow your life as a believer and my life. It says that these signs will follow them that believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. If they drink deadly poison, it won't hurt them at all. And if they lay their hands on the sick, they shall recover. And the context of this is not just among the church and other believers. It is among the unbelievers. It's among the world, the everyday places we go. See, a lot of our church experience has come down to the idea that the consistency of miracles depends on the place they're in. That, you know, we can see miracles in conferences where God is moving and his presence is thick in the room that we can see miracles at church because it's surrounded by believers and we believe that it's the place that empowers the miracles. But that's just simply not true. And so if it's not the place, if it's not the conference and it's not the church, then what is it? What's the key to miracles? What's the key for our own lives so that we can see miracles in our homes, among our families and friends and our co-workers on a consistent basis because I don't know about you, but I really want my life to be filled full of miracles. I want to see God move every day, everywhere I go, all the time. So what's the secret? One man in Curry Blake, which is where I believe all this craziness with miracles happening in obscure places started, says it like this. And you gotta listen to this clip right here because this really takes the cake in this new thinking of how to see miracles more consistently. Check it out. All these people, Enoch, I mean, all they, by faith, right? You know what's strange about this is that in the church, yeah, you'll hear a lot about faith, but here's what you hear. They will tell you that they did these miracles by the anointing. Isn't that right? It is the anointing. The anointing's doing this, the anointing's doing that. David's fixing to go and kill Goliath, and the anointing came upon him, and he went and killed Goliath, and the anointing's rising up because he's speaking it. and and. But, but it's funny because that's never mentioned. Many people are waiting for a feeling because they think the feeling is the anointing and they think that's when the power is there. And the power has nothing to do with feeling. The power has to do with trusting the Word of God. And He said, you shall receive power after, after the Holy Ghost comes upon you. So at that point, by faith, you step out. And by, when you step out by faith, faith causes it to happen but it was because of your position in Christ that you get to step out in faith. See, the key to miracles is not to create an atmosphere for miracles or to have the worship service quite right. And so for you at home, if you're needing a miracle or you wanna see healings as you're living your day, you don't have to have a band with you. You don't have to have the anointing present or anything like that that doesn't need to be in the room. What the Bible shows that the key to miracles is, is to simply begin to believe. It is faith, faith has to be present. Faith in your heart, that is the key. Even check out this clip of Torben, who was seeing a demon cast out in a eye doctor's shop. Like, just check this out, it's wild. I now command any spirit, I leave him right now, he is. Even so what I command you. Come out, come on, out, out, come out. Out, out, come on right now. Leave him, give you bones, but I command you, leave him, leave him. Come on, 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 right now. Command you, spirit, leave him, have you a cool spirit, come on, name of Jesus, hey, name of Jesus, come on. Come on, you a cool spirit, I command you, leave him, say something, come on. Out, out now, out, last thing in the name of Jesus, we cry, come on. Come on. Out, out, out. Hello, my friend, come on. 
The power of the believer is not in the atmosphere of the place they're in. It's not in the conference. It's not in the anointing. It is in their choice to simply believe. And when you believe, God can begin to meet you even in the most obscure and strangest of places. One of which I talk about right here in this video. God is meeting people in one of the strangest places I've ever seen and ever heard of to the point where people are getting healed all over the world in their own homes, in their living rooms, just through having a phone. It is wild what is happening right now. You need to check out this video, so go click there and I'll see you over there. God bless.